How's it going today? Beautiful day in Calgary, Alberta. I'm just about to take out my uh, new e-bike. It's called the Vamoose Mammoth. It's a really wicked bike. And I just want to introduce this bike to people that don't know about it. I'm going to go do a quick run through on all the parts and components that are on the bike, how big the battery is, the drive system. And then I'll take it for a test drive. This is a picture of the whole bike. I put the uh, pack on the rack, of course. Okay, I'll start from the back of the bike. Comes with a tail light. The tail light does not hook up to the battery. It's got its own battery. You have to turn it on. It's got maxi tires, as you can see. 26 by 4 maxi tires. Great tires. Most e-bikes don't come with these quality of tires. They're usually coming with Kenda tires. <clears throat> and down here on the drivetrain, it's got the Asura Shimano drivetrain, which is common for uh, a lot of e-bikes, $3,000 and under. And uh, you get your standard pedals. And there's the drivetrain. There's your controller. This piece right here, that's your controller. And it comes with the rack. This bike is assembled too when you get it. You only have to put on the handlebars. Comes with the Velo plush seat, which is nice, I like it. I won't be replacing the seat. This is a really nice feature on this, on this bike, is the battery. It's got a 21 AH battery, 1,008 watt hours. I haven't tested the distance, but I'm thinking I'm going to be able to go quite far if I use pedal assist. Now coming up to the uh, front of the bike, oh, they have a place right here too, to uh, put on a water bottle cage if you like. A thing to note when you get your bike, for some reason the factory didn't put the screws in the screw holes, so you have to be careful and you have to go back and forth, back and forth when you screw those screws in. To clean the paint out of the threads and a nice touch too the uh, seller of this bike which would be a very inexpensive thing to do would be to put on a chain rail slap guard it would just have to be a piece of velcro something very cheap not a big deal though they're not expensive but the company could put their uh, company logo on there it'd be a good selling feature I think and it comes with the RST guide forks which is standard for this kind of a bicycle and uh, comes also with the uh, front headlights uh, that comes with the bike as well and like I said all you have to do is put the handlebars on it and the pedals and you're pretty much good to go comes with a front 500 watt Bafang motor this is an all-wheel drive bicycle and uh, it also comes with a 500 watt rear Bafang motor, which is awesome. The 500 watt Bafang motor is a bulletproof motor. Yeah, Bafang is the uh, largest manufacturer of e-bike motors in the world. Uh, now to get to the brakes now. This braking system, it has 180 millimeter, I believe, rotors, and it's got the uh, Tektra E500 brakes on it, which is quite a few steps up the quality ladder when it comes to brakes. Uh, the nicest ones I've seen on bikes in this price range is the Tektra E350 brakes, or they could even come with generic brakes, and that's front and back both front and back Tektra hydraulic brakes 180 millimeter rotors so the brakes are just they're they're really another really nice selling feature on this bike and I'll just give you a view there's the key that's where you put the key in to take the battery in and out you don't need the key to ride the bike you just hit the power button and it'll turn on it does lock in there you pull that key out and you can't get you can't get the battery off the bike impossible okay now we will move up to the uh, cockpit there's your controller that controls your plus 
your pedal assist plus one to five here or minus one to five here uh, I haven't figured it out yet but it can go up to uh, one to nine if you go into the settings and change it pedal assist one to nine you can change it I'll figure that out another time I'll just ride it like it is for now and uh, hey there's my nifty bell I put on the bike cool I added the bike the bike does come with a bell but it's just a uh, whatever it's a bell five dollar bell you can get off Amazon and it has seven gears let's go around over here this bike has seven gears right here this will lock the throttle so you won't have throttle or you push it again and it'll make it so you can throttle and uh, then you got your top shifter bottom shifter now I've only rolled this e-bike a couple of times I'm pretty sure the top shifter moves the gears up and the bottom shifter moves the gears down uh, I might have mentioned this already but it has brake inhibitors as well so as soon as you touch the brakes it cuts the motor out and here's the display right here right in the center it's a beautiful color display this is another real good selling feature on this bike uh, a lot of displays are black and white this display is full color it's a beautiful buffang display on this bicycle it's awesome uh, what other key components do I got to show you? Oh, yeah, it has a shock seat. I could, should show you that. Uh, so it comes with a suspension seat. It ships with the seat, suspension seat. I never put that on, which is another nice little feature for uh, this bike. A lot of them, you have to buy them separately, and they can get quite expensive. Comes with fenders, as you see here. Uh, there's a shot of the front of the bike right now. There's a shot of the front of the bike The RST guide fork has two settings. It's only lock or Or on I didn't really see too many tension settings The only tension settings that I've noticed on this bike right now is you can set it on the other side of the fork for uh, the weight of the rider and I think that should just about cover me going over this Vamoose Mammoth bike. The all-wheel drive in its price range. Very awesome bike. Fancy uh, handle grips. I actually didn't think I was going to like these handle grips. But now that I see them on the bike, I think these handle grips are just awesome. I love them. Okay. I am now going to uh, let you go and I'll see you in a bit because I'm going to put this GoPro onto, or actually I shouldn't say GoPro, this is an Osmo Action Cam. Uh, I'm going to mount this onto the bike and I'm going to go for a nice long ride today. Uh, I'll tape the ride and I'm going to uh, uh, clip these vid videos together. Okay, I am 6.4 kilometers into my ride. I had to settle in and get out of the traffic, make sure my phone mount was mounted as tight as I could get it anyways. As you can see, that's the GPS and hopefully the wide angle lens is picking everything up. Uh, so far I've only been in the pedal assist 2 on this bicycle. Uh, I have 95% charge. I've only gone through 2%. I was at 97 when I left. Okay, let's carry on. I am heading over the YMCA. Uh, I'm going down over by the river. Bull Valley, uh, Bull Valley, Bull River Parkway, I think it's called. Pedal assist 2 on this bike is just no effort. If you're on flat pavement, I don't think you would ever need any more. I only have the rear motor going right now. The rear motor only is going right now. There will be, uh, if anyone has any questions about this bicycle, 
You can join my Facebook group. It's called Bamoose E-Bike Users. And I'm on Facebook. And it's actually not only for Bamoose users. It's for all e-bike users. Hopefully my cell phone stays there. This is actually my mount for my motorcycle. The pedal assist on this bike is uh, very, very responsive. I just touch the pedals and this bike goes. I love it. I'm, as you can see, I'm still on the streets. Just heading over to uh, Fish Creek Park. Over by the river. I'm going to get some pictures today. Wow! You're going a little bit downhill on pedal assist too, it just wants to take off. <laughs> and I'm using only the rear motor. Oh, it's Bow River Pathway, my GPS just told me. And the uh, shock seat, oh, oh yeah, nice to have. Maybe this isn't the highest end shock seat on the market, but it does do the job. Right onto Bow River Pathway, then slide left to stay on Bow River Pathway. Oh. Sorry for the interruption. I'll have to do a little editing on this video. Oh, I'm 16 minutes away from my destination. Pedal Assist 3 I'm in right now. There. I thought I settled in and had that all mounted tightly before I turned the video on, and I was wrong. Motors are very quiet. Way quieter than I thought they would be. Slight left to stay on Bow River Pathway. Okay, here we go. I am to stay on Bow River Pathway. I am entering Fish Creek Park. There is uh, just loads of uh, mountain bike and e-bike trails all throughout Calgary. All throughout Calgary. Going downhill now. This coasting. What a beautiful day. Wednesday. Not too cold. Great for e-biking. I almost feel like I gotta turn my blinkers off on this bike, on, on this bike when I'm turning. I'm using pedal assist zero now. I'm pedaling with no pedal assist whatsoever. Oh, I have some pedestrians coming. Yeah, I just went down all those hills and pedal assist zero. Oh, there we go, pedal assist two, boom, just takes effect. I still have only the rear hub motor going. I noticed when I turn this bike, both motors on, I can really motor. This bike, as it's set up from factory, that goes 32 kilometers an hour, unless you want to pedal faster. If you want to unlock the motors, It'll go quicker. What a beautiful ride by the river. And I'm not even tired. This is just effortless. It's like a little mini motorcycle. I gotta call this bicycle my winter electric bicycle, or my winter electric motorcycle. 
Okay, I have now left the YMCA. I'm heading down Bow River Pathway again. Lots of mountain bikers out today, I noticed. So no GPS this time, I know where I'm going. This bike will go right through that snow on the side. I'm not gonna do it, but it will. You put all wheel drive on this bike and it will go, it'll just toot chew through a foot of snow. No problem. So that's the real benefit to the front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Snow, no problem. But any bicycle, be very careful on ice, even with studs. One thing I've been meaning to say too, is if you have a mid-drive motor that is 1,000 watts, it is illegal in BC and in Alberta to do this ride I'm doing today. Because I was on city streets, and as in municipal areas, and this is a provincial park, which that is a gray area, but at 1,000, you are allowed 500 watt motors maximum. That is another reason why I would really, like people that are looking for 1,000 watts, get the two motors, because it is legal. If you got the switches on your bike to use only one motor, it is a legal bike. To use as a commuter bike it really is like having an electric motorcycle i feel like i have to signal i'm looking for the signal light when i turn i almost think that it's a motorcycle so but it is a blast i gotta say i am not too sure why Somebody would want to go faster than 32 kilometers an hour. This bike will go faster, but I have a perfectly good two wheel drive motorcycle at home. If I want to do go faster than 32 kilometers an hour. Oh, we'll drive up this hill, just boom. Just like, it's just effortless. This is a steep hill too. Wow. I'm in pedal assist four. Oh, for hills? Oh, you gotta have the dual drive for hills. I am a pretty heavy guy. I'm sure glad I have that extra drive motor, that extra 500 watts. And there you have it, folks. I am back home now. Uh, I did, what does it say on there? 25.3K, 76% battery left. See, I'll show you. Don't know if you can see that or not. And that will conclude my introduction to the Vamoose Mammoth. It is a really awesome bike. Can't you see me smiling? Just awesome. It's like having a little motorcycle I could ride around in the winter. So cool. You hit that front motor and just the torque and the power it has is unbelievable. So it just rocks. Don't forget to join my e-bike group. It's called the Moose E-Bike Users Group on Facebook. Please join if you're interested in e-bikes. And let's have some discussions. And then let's learn from each other.